Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today I will continue showing you how I winded the motor and how you can do it at home. This is the second part of the practical part of the series. Uh, for the previous episode, take a look over here, there should be a card there. So click and uh, see how the first part of the winding uh, and preparing a motor to run uh, went. And uh, today the second part, together with actual smoke test. So uh, I will prove you that what I did actually worked and this is not a rocket science and with uh, a little uh, practice anyone can wind the motor. The burned wire or, or whatever, or rewind the motor for, for it to be something else. Um, so enjoy while you wind it. Uh, it's not pretty. I'm really not not very happy with the prettiness of this winding, but okay, yeah, it's just an example. It's nobody will be shooting uh, from that, so it, it's fine. It at least should be fine. We will know if it's fine when we will connect the SC, put the motor uh, on the stator, and see see if it really works. Now, what we are, what we still have to do is to terminate, uh, and by terminate I mean connect the wires in the correct order. First, let's remove the insulation tape. This is not needed. And one more time, the numbers we've put on the coils will be something what we'll be needing. Because here we have to connect, you see it? Okay, we have to connect the wire that is winded on the coil number one with number 12. So if we look here, this, this is the wire. This is the wire, it's always slightly problematic, but no, this is definitely the wire because coil number one was wanted clockwise. So number one with number 12. I mean those two, so just twist them only a little, so we know that they are there. Then coil number three with coil number eight. Coil number three is this one. Number three and number three was winded counterclockwise. That makes sense. Then this is coil number five. So this is coil number. Huh, where the heck is coil number? I know that the LRK evolution is simpler because the termination is much simpler, but uh, I don't get the LRK evolution. Sorry. No way. So, okay, one, one more time. Um, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this, this wire is coil number eight, and coil number eight was clockwise. Yeah, that's correct. Twist them. So they do not get lost. And by the method of elimination, whatever is else, whatever, whatever is left. So coil number five, right? And coil number ten. This is ten, yes. Is the third pair we will be using. So one more time. Twist. And now, now we have to lay the cables in the way that it will be leaving the, the motor. So somehow like that. We are here, we can take that away. We can, and we can cut the wire. And now the funny part, which I really hate. We have to remove the insulation from the, from the winding wire. What's the difference between good winding wire and bad winding wire? 
Good winding wire has good insulation. That means it's really very hard to remove it. You have to really scratch it with a knife or use some chemistry. I never, never really tried chemistry. I somehow don't, don't, don't ever wanted to buy that. Um, while the bad insulation wire, sometimes you just use your thumbnail and it's gone. This is good insulation wire, so the removal will not be, not be very simple. That's why we will have to use a knife proper tools for the job everything goes quite smoothly just scratch that out with insulation removed it's time to wrap it up solder everything connect ESC and the moment of truth if this is really working but okay let's do fast forward and observe This is how the motor looks like. Um, it's not maybe pretty yet. Let let me find uh, some stuff. Face number one. Face number. Two. Face number three. We don't want any magical smoke over here. Just to be sure, just to be on the safe side. Ready? Okay. I'm plugging the battery in. You heard? It was beeping. ESC was beeping, that means the coils are fine. Um, let's give it a try. Awesome! It's turning. Uh, you see? After all, looks like it's not that hard to wind the motor. Let's give it a, a one more dry test. Works. Something is not balanced. Okay. Magnets are cold. Coils are more or less also cold. Let's find um, a propeller. Uh, I don't want this to fly away, so I will have to find a propeller that will not generate any trust. Um, give me one more minute. I have found a propeller that will push the motor down so it will not have a flyaway no matter what happens. It will just be pushing the frame down. Um, and what? Let's, let's see what's gonna happen. Ready? Okay, few seconds at full power. Let's check if nothing is overheating. Magnets are evidently cold. Coils are also cold. Um, what? Huge success! It only took an hour or something uh, to record this raw video, and we have a working motor. Uh, I still have no idea how fast this is rotating, how much KV this has and how much power. Oh, actually we can test the power. I have the 
power matter over here. Let's see how much current in pulls at full throttle. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, oh, I really created a slow rotating motor. Uh, at full power, it was pulling only 1.7 amps, so times 12 volts, 7. 20 watts at full power this motor at uh, with uh, propeller 5 by 3 is pulling 20 watts of power uh, <laughs> oh it's so slow but this is only an example if i would if i <coughs> sorry if i would use a thicker wire and the less turns it will rotate much faster so yeah one more time Oh, not, not turning, sorry. I still have to plug in the battery. <laughs> oh, this is slow. But it's working! What can I say? I <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, really, I really did not expect that this motor would <laughs> be so weak. Um, 12 volts, uh, 1.7 amperes, 20 watts of power at full throttle. <laughs> um, not a chance this can be used on a quadcopter, absolutely not. But I... I, I <laughs> no, sorry guys, I, I, this is just too funny. Uh, but I will use this motor. Uh, I will use this motor on a glider. If, if everything will go fine, I will be able to pull almost one hour of flight time uh, or like slowly cruising somewhere uh, with 1.7 amps on full throttle. Oh man, this is, really this is really slow. But this will be a glider. There is no need for high thrust or uh, high pitch speed. So this, this actually might work. Um, what next? Uh, I will try to measure the KV of this motor. Of course, I will record a video how I did that. Uh, stay tuned. This will happen in next, I hope, week maybe two it depends of uh, on the time and the christmas is coming i have few other projects on my roadmap so take care bye